Well, welcome back for some more fun. When I was <coughs> videoing the bell making process, I realized I didn't include <coughs> making the V-Wet wires. And when I first started doing this, this is the wrong set of pliers. I would make them by putting, I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not, probably not. Yeah, that's better. Just putting the wire in pliers, bending it over, and then bending it back the other way. And we end up With a little bewit flange. And then I would trim them to length. The filling, what I did with those pliers I used 35 years ago. Just snip them to length. V wet wire. That one's way too long. So about thirty years ago, a machinist over in Arkansas came up with this little machine. <laughs> the end of my wire here. Well, that might not happen. I'll start a new end. Normally, I'm calling about 10 feet of this. But since this is for the camera, and these little holes are a half a thousandth larger than the wire. And it's in desperate need of a cleaning. So that's what it comes out of the machine like. And I don't have to do anything else to it. And this <coughs> tray over here has 400 bales in it. Well, between 380 and 400. So that means I'm going to be here a few minutes.
machinist wanted to uh, set this up with air operated cylinder and, uh, which would have been handy dandy but at the time I couldn't afford it so we went with the manual version Call little Tony one of these days and see how he's doing. I think I told you the story that his daughter and my oldest daughter were both nurses and we worked, worked in the same children's hospital in the same unit. And neither of us were aware of this so several years later. We have a kink in the wire. Machines don't like kinks. What I'm doing now is I use this little push rod in case one gets stuck. which happens almost on every stroke. This is a whole lot easier than sitting with a pair of flyers, a coil of wire. I, I used to uh, do some things while I was at work during my lunch break. People were thought I was crazy. I still am, but that's beside the point. Anyway, that's that's how I make the uh, the B wit wires. And thanks for watching, and see you next time.